Okay, example number one. Um, we have here two equations, x plus y equals 3 and y equals x minus 1. The first thing we do is we choose which of these two equations is to solve natin. Okay, um, ito na bahala class kung ano isolve mo, y ba or x. Okay, for this example, nakasolve na kasi yung isa. Nakasolve na si y. Solve an equation for one variable. I will choose equation 2 kasi nakasolve na siya. Okay? After nakasolve na, nakasolve ka na lang variable dyan, y or x, pili ka lang. I-substitute mo siya ngayon sa hindi nagamit na equation, which is equation 1. So, x plus y equals 3. Tama? Ano ganun si y? No. Substitute. O, yan ang tinatawag na substitution method. x plus x, 2x minus 1 equals 3. Lipat si negative 1 sa kabila, it becomes 3 plus 1. Three plus one four, so x equals by two, x equals two. All right, okay, class. In substitution method, our our goal here is to find the value of x and y. So we are now looking for the value of y because we have x na. So paano mas solve si y? Is substitute mo ang x sa any of the equation, kahit sa anjan. Solve for y. x plus y equals 3. Ilan si x? 2. 2 plus y equals 3. Lipat si positive 2, it becomes negative 2. 3 minus 2, 1. So x is 2, y is 1. Or you could write it an ordered pair 2, 1. Okay? Okay, let's have example number 2. Alright, so 4x plus y equals 24. That's equation 1. And 2x minus 3y equals negative 2. That's equation 2. <clears throat> First is, magpili ka sa dalawa saan ang isolve mo na variable. I will choose equation 1. Why? Kasi may 1 na kasi. Maghinap ka ng may 1 na coefficient. Saan ang may 1 dyan? Itong si equation 1. So, I'm gonna solve this one. I will solve for y. So, lipat mo si 4x. It becomes negative 4x plus 24. O, meron ka na nito. Nakasolve ka na ng isang equation. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo, substitute mo ito sa equation na hindi nagamit. Which is, anong equation? Equation number 2. Okay, so 2x minus 3y equals negative 2. 2x minus 3, ilan si y? Substitute, negative 4x plus 24 equals negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 4x. Positive 12x, negative 3 times 24, negative, ilan? 72, equals negative 2. 2x plus 12x class, that's 14x. Si negative 72, ilipat sa kabila because you will be solving for x na... So, what is the value of x? Divide 14. x is 5. So, meron naman tayong x class. Paano naman natin mahanap ngayon ang y? Okay, substitute x to this any of the any of these equations. Sana kaya ang mas madali. Okay, let's try equation 2. Okay. 
Okay? Are you following? 2 times 5, we have 10. Lipat si positive 10 plus, it becomes negative 10. Negative 3y equals negative 12. Divide negative 3, divide negative 3, y is 4. So the answer is 5, 4, or you could have you could have written it in this manner, 5, 4. Okay, another example for substitution method. Again ha, in substitution method, magpili ka ng equation na may 1 lang. Okay, at isolve mo yun na variable. Sa equation 1, walang may 1 lang na coefficient. Sa equation 2, meron itong y. So, since siya ang may 1, so solve ko siya. y equals, lipat ko si negative 2x. Pag ilipat ka, it becomes negative 2x minus 1. Okay, nakasolve ka na ng isang variable. Ang gagawin mo, isa substitute mo doon sa equation na hindi nagamit. Ang, at, at ang equation na yan is ang equation 1. So, 4x minus 5y equals negative 23. 4x minus 5. Ilan si y? Negative 2x minus 1 equals negative 23. Negative 5 times negative 2x. That's positive 10x. Negative 5 times negative 1. That's positive 5. Negative times negative, positive ha? Negative times negative, that's positive. 4x plus 10x. 14x. Okay? So ngayon, negative 23. Lipat si positive 5. It becomes negative 5. Okay, punta tayo dito. So, 14x equals... Negative 23 minus 5. Negative 28. Same sign, add. O, divide 14, solve for x. Negative 28 divided by 14 plus. That's negative 2. So, you have now the value of x. So, ang gagawin mo, solve for y. Solve for y. Paano? I-substitute mo yung x. Pili ka sa equation 1 equation 2. Sa alam mo, madali i-solve. Mas madali ang equation 2, no? Kasi 2 lang dyan, 1 lang. Alag to 4, 5, 23, malaki. So, piliin natin ang equation 2. Ilan si x? Negative 2. Plus y equals negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 4 plus y equals negative 1. Lipat si negative 4. Negative 1 plus 4. So, the answer is... 3 Okay um, This time naman We will use another method In solving for The linear equations um, This method is called The elimination method So how to eliminate Okay What you will do with these two equations Equation 1 and 2 Is you gonna add it up Tapos, pag-add nyo, dapat may makancel na isang variable. Paano sila makancel? Yung pareho sila, pero magkaiba yung sign. Example, 2x. Yung isa, negative 2x. So, makancel yung x. So, maiwan yung y. Okay? Yun yung concept ng elimination. Dapat may makancel na isang variable. Okay? Again ha, pwede lang silang makancel kasi i-add mo tong dalawa eh. Makancel lang sila if... Pareho, rin, pareho yung numerical coefficient pero magkaiba ang sign. Example number 1. Observe nyo, pareho yung y pero magkaiba. So, pag-add natin yan, x plus x, we have 2x. Y plus negative y, di ba cancel na siya? Eliminated. So, yan ang elimination method. 4 plus 6, 10. So, for x, kasi x ang naiwan eh. So, for x, so divide natin nyo yung 2 both sides x equals 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Since we have now x, so what are we going to do is to solve for y. How to solve for y? Same process, magpili ka lang sa dalawa kung saan mo gustong isubstitute. 
we will arrive with the same answer if sa equation 1 mo i-substitute or sa equation 2 mo i-substitute. So, I will choose equation 1. Sub substitute x5 to equation 1. x plus y equals 4. Ilan si x? 5 plus y equals 4. y equals 4. Lipat si positive 5. Positive, magiging negative. y equals 4 minus 5, negative 1. So the answers are x and 5. x equals 5, y equals negative 1. Or you could write it 5, negative 1. Okay? Okay. Another example, example number 2. We have equation 1, the system of linear equation, negative 2x plus y equals 4. 3x plus y equals 9. Question, may eliminate ba diretso? May may eliminate ba tayo? Sa x, hindi may eliminate kasi hindi pareho, 3 at 2. So, why? Hala, pareho silang may 1. Pero hindi magkaiba ang sign. So, walang ma-eliminate. Tama? So, ano ang gagawin natin? Pag wala ganing ma-eliminate, diretso class. So, but since pareho na sila, so multiply mo na lang yung isang equation ng negative. So, I will multiply this with negative 1. I will multiply this with negative 1. So, ano ang mangyayari? Negative 1 times positive negative 2x, it becomes positive 2x. Negative 1 times y, negative y. Negative 1 times 4 equals negative 4. O, yan lang ang bagong equation 1. Ang equation 2, kopya mo lang. 3x plus y equals 9. Question, meron na bang ma-eliminate ngayon? Meron na. Ano? Yung y pa rin. So, two, oh, add mo na. 2x plus 3x, 5x. Eliminated na si y. Negative 4 plus 9, that's 5. So, for x, divide 5, divide 5. x equals 1. Okay. So, since may x na tayo, paano masolve si y? I-substitute mo yung x kung saan sa dalawa dyan. Pili ka. Um, saan kaya ang mas madali? Let's have equation 2. Substitute x equals 1 to equation 2. Pili ka lang ha, equation 2 or equation 1. Same pa rin ang answer. So, we have 3x plus y equals 9. 3 times, ilan si x? 1 plus y equals 9. 3 times 1, 3 plus y equals 9. y equals 9. Lipat si positive 3, it becomes negative 3. y equals 6. The answers are x equals 1, y equals 6. Okay, let's go to the third example. We have equation 1. Negative 4x minus 2y equals 2. Equation 2, we have x plus y equals 4. Okay, class, may ma-eliminate ba pag i-add na natin diretsyo? Wala, di ba? So, ano ang gagawin mo? Magmumultiply ka ng isa dyan. Ano ang gusto mong eliminate y or x? Kung y class, ang eliminate mo, negative 2 man yan, dapat ito, positive 2y. So, times mo lang ng 2. What if class B na x ang eliminate ko? What if x na naman, hindi na naman tayo mag y? Negative 4x man dyan. So, anong i-multiply ko dito para ma-eliminate siya? Positive 4. Diba? 4x plus negative 4x mas 0. So, multiply ko yan ng 4. Multiply ko yan ng 4. So, ang gagawin ko, um, kopyahin ko muna yung equation 1. Kinopya ko lang to ha. Copy lang to. Oh, ito. Tapos, 4 times x. 4x. 4 times y. 4y. 4 times 4. 16. Okay. May ma-eliminate na ba? Meron. Ano? 4x. Eliminated na. Negative 2y plus 4y. That's 2y. 2 plus 16. That's 18. Solve for y. Divide 2, divide 2, 18 divided by 2, that's positive 9. So, meron na tayong value ngayon ng y. Ano ang gagawin natin? Okay, we will substitute y equals 9 to, saan ang gusto nyo? Equation 1, equation 2. Equation 2, no, kasi 
Madali lang siya, oh. X plus Y equals 4. X plus 9 equals 4. Saan galing ang 9? Si Y equals 9 ba? Yaki substitute. X equals 4. Lipat si 9 sa kabilang side. Positive man. Magiging negative. X equals 4 minus 9. That's negative 5. So the answers are x is negative 5, y equals 9, or pwede mo rin isulat ng pagganon. Same pa rin yan. Pag hinahanap ganyan, ordered pair, o ito ang coordinate, o ito ang pagkasulat mo.